that Mary is a brunette and Lisette happens to be a blonde. And so they walk around the neighborhood and go for walks and get a little bit of exercise. And one day Mary said, oh, poor dead birdie. And Lisette looked up and said, where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> I just let that one through for a minute. And all the light bulbs started going on. It was really pretty cool. All the nerves was really bright. And uh, so anyway, uh, I want to talk a little bit about relationships. Uh, guys, I just want to tell you, if you didn't already know this, if you do not get a message from a woman that says, please send me a picture of your junk, don't do it. It's going crazy right now with some of the stars are getting in trouble for that, so definitely don't do that. And um, I wanted to mention that my friends Chris and Cher are here tonight. They're a newlywed couple, so let's give it up for them. <laughs> Went to the Oriole game with them this past year, and uh, they were sitting there and kissing and enjoying each other and being all and then Cher stopped out of the blue and said the sweetest thing to Chris that I've ever heard. She said, honey, you can kiss me on the string, and I'll kiss you on the balls. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was for you. Now that's love. You go, girl. Um, so anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, recently got engaged myself, and my beautiful better half is here. And uh, the other day she was experiencing some neck pain, and uh, we were taking our dog to the groomer, so she took out a pain pill on the way there. So we went to drop our dog off, and she walked out of the car, took in the door, got back in the car, and we're driving down from Pulaski Highway, which goes all the way up to Susan County, by the way. And she looks in the rearview mirror and she says, Wow, the dog's being awfully quiet. <laughs> and I said, Sure, we just dropped the dog off, remember? Oh, uh, I think the pain pill is kicking in. <laughs> well, it gets better than that. We get back to the house about 10 minutes later. She says to me, Tom, I can't hear Rocky at all. He's being really quiet. I said, Come on, Sherry, really? So she was, was having a little hard time with her medication, so she'll be okay. Love you, baby. And, uh, good stuff. and I just wanted to mention to you, um, everyone here has been really warm and really friendly. And uh, I mentioned that uh, John and Mary had given us their electric organ when, we, when they helped us move. And my fiance said to me on the way here, she said, if you're really good tonight, that's the only organ in the house that won't be played tonight. And I was very happy. And I thank you so much for saying that. I'm trying, I'm trying. Because you know it's important to me once we get home. <laughs> Just the little things that make a man happy, you know that. Um, and one other thing that I wanted to mention to you as far as um, uh, relationship advice. I mentioned earlier about the pictures. Women want to be loved, and they want to be touched, and they want to be kissed, and listened to, and appreciated. And very few of us are very good at that at all. So maybe you can work on that a little bit more this evening, and going forward, and just try and enjoy your life. And uh, that's pretty much all that I have for now. But it is definitely a mind-blowing experience to be up here. And I thank those who came, and uh, I really hope that I am not as nervous the next time around, because it's been painful a little bit for all of us. <laughs> and thank you, for, thank you for bearing with me, because obviously I'm sweating, and my voice is cracking a little bit. I am not the only one noticing. I'm noticing that you're picking that up as well. So, um, you know, what do you, what's a guy got to do? So, um, this is a 20-year dream of mine, and who knows, you know, I seem to have got a laugh or two, so maybe I'll do this again someday in the near future. 
But um, thank you very much for your participation and your understanding and your forgiveness, really.